My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is July the 17th, and I do hope that you'll be a part of a wide variety of opportunities to be connected with one another and certainly to encounter Christ as we make our way through this weekend. Again, this coming Sunday, the 17th, we continue with our series, Empowered by the Spirit. And our particular image that we're looking at this week is the dove. How is the Holy Spirit related, connected to the dove? We're going to see both in the story of Noah releasing the dove as the waters begin to recede in the book of Genesis after the flood, and in the Holy Spirit descending upon Jesus as a dove at his baptism in the Gospel of Mark. The Spirit is engaged in something new, Indeed, in Mark's gospel, it says that the heavens are torn open when the Spirit, the dove, descends upon Jesus. What new things could the Holy Spirit be causing and calling us to do together as the body of Christ? We'll explore that this coming Sunday in worship at both 845 and 11 o'clock. You can come and join us here in person in the sanctuary. If you're out of town or unable to come in person, then please join us online. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, and on the church website. You can be a full participant in our service that way as well. But join us this week for worship as we continue with our series, Empowered by the Holy Spirit. This is also one of those unique um, intergenerational activity moments and times during the Sunday School Hour, our Together Again Summer Fellowship at Unity. We'll meet at 10 o'clock. This is one of the, again, unique intergenerational times focused on part of our annual vision for ministry. This week, our activities, our events, our conversation together will focus on how we are connected with our neighbors near and far. Some of you have already sent in your um, pictures of flat Jesus and the trips that you've taken. Uh, We'll have opportunities as well to experience others who are neighbors to us and the ways in which we might be connected to them. So come and be a part. This is a special, one of our special Sundays um, with that Together Again Summer Fellowship opportunities uh, this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock in the fellowship hall. I think there's even going to be food. So come and join us for that as well. We continue with change for the church. I've got my bucket here again with me this week, Um, an opportunity to just remind you that the special offering we receive throughout the month of July is uh, not only pocket change, but also our folded money, our checks, or our gifts that we might make online. Together they go to support uh, children who find themselves in need of school supplies, both here in Fort Mill and certainly around the world as we focus our gifts to the um, country of Syria, the Synod of Syria, that, uh, that they might be uh, of help to families who find themselves as refugees, but still needing those supplies uh, for school. So contribute generously to the Change for the Church offering. It also is a chance to just be a little more relaxed and casual in our worship, both in terms of dress and uh, our conduct, so um, encourage you to take advantage of that as well. One thing you perhaps have noticed too that I hope that you've had a chance to pick up if you've been here at church is uh, these new prayer squares. Our prayer shawl ministry has been knitting these as uh, pocket squares that uh, contain the prayers of this congregation and the prayers that you might offer for one another and that you might share with a with someone who finds themselves in need. So be intentional about your prayer this time and this season and uh, perhaps use one of these pocket prayer squares as a way to do that. My friends, I hope you see these are the amazing ways, even just this weekend, that God's alive and at work here in our ministry at Unity Presbyterian Church. So come and join us this Sunday. God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you then.